I have another unboxing. It's a Mahjong set from Gammon Village. Gammon Village is one of my go-to places for Mahjong sets. They sell other games too, like Backgammon, hence the name Gammon Village. They also sell chess sets and then Mahjong sets. The next time you're looking for a game, check out GammonVillage.com. Mel at Gammon Village sent me this box, so we're going to take a peek inside. I have a trusty X-Acto knife, nice short blade, so I shouldn't be cutting into anything inside. Let's give it a go. Ooh, sharp, very, very sharp. Ooh, cuts quickly. Feel like I'm performing a surgery or something. It's like a scalpel. Pretty handy. Okay, here we go. Big box. Lots of paper. No peanuts. I like paper. Biodegradable. Recyclable. Good job, Mel. Packing slip. I'm not going to read it, though, because I want it to be a surprise. Oh. Even the box is pretty. So there's a box in a box. Hmm. Okay. There's wrap around it, so I'm gonna need that exacto knife again. Let's see here. I didn't realize that exacto knives are so precise. Guess I need to practice using an exacto knife. Okay. All right. I guess I guess we can just tear it off. box. This would be a nice gift too. You could just put a bow on it just like that. That's pretty nice. All right. Let's see what's inside. I'm impressed with the packaging. Okay. 
Wow, this is a very nice presentation here. Here it is. save that box that's a nice box so here's the set okay look at that nice quilted bag It's not all that heavy at all. I guess that's the nice thing about soft cases. They're not heavy. Well, I mean, the tiles inside are a bit heavy, but the bag itself is not heavy. Some of those aluminum cases, they're very sturdy and they're nice, but they're heavy. This, nice and light. This is the nautical quilted bag. Linda Lee. Linda Lee. It's cute. All right, let's take a peek inside. It's got a double zipper, zipper. It's not a zipper, it's a zipper. Double zipper. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mahjong Primer, American Style by Michelle Frizzell. That's me. Mel and I worked together on this book. Well, I wrote the content and he did all the graphics and of course the publishing. That was a fun project. So if you order this, you get that book, which has all the fundamentals of the game and even a little bit of strategy. So if, you do, if you're brand new to Mahjong, this is a great set to buy because then you get that book. Well, I believe Every Mahjong set that you buy at Gammon Village comes with that primer. So if you're new to the game, this is a great way to buy Mahjong sets because then you have a little primer with your set. All right, here are the, I'm assuming, oh, these are, these are the racks. These are the tiles. And then we have little bags, two little bags for the tiles. Oh, there's a few goodies in here. Wow, that's cute. We'll take a peek at that. There's some of those silica gel bags. Throw away, do not eat. Do not eat these. Okay, nice bag. Let's see if I can get the lighting in there. See that nice quilted bag? And there's this, this zipper pouch. Oh my goodness, there's stuff in there too. There's like a zipper pouch here too. Okay, dice. Dice. And there's blank tiles, but I'm not going to open it up yet because I want it to be a surprise. Okay, so let's open this first. This is probably a better or wind of the round indicator. It's like wood. Oh, it's a block. That's cute. East, south, west, north. You can mark the wind of the round or the seat or use it as a better. So on the bottom, you have a little hole there to show the wind of the round if you're playing Asian versions. But if you're using it as a better, 
I guess what you could do, let's see here, for American Mahjong, huh, I wonder how we would use that for American Mahjong. Because if you bet using this cube, something is going to be on the front and something's going to be on the back. So if you bet on east, right there, and you put it upside down like this, we know what's on the other side of west on this cube is east. So I don't think that will work. This must be just a nice little keepsake or device to use for when playing Asian versions. Clever, it's clever. I'm just not sure how to use it for American Mahjong because you want it to be a secret who you're betting on. That wouldn't be a secret. So I guess I would have to think about it. I'll have to think it through how to use this. Yeah, we'll give it some thought. It's pretty cute though. I have an idea. We're going to create a cover out of a piece of parchment paper. So we'll use this block and cut a size of paper so that it will fit inside here and create a cover for the hole. So we'll use this. Trace around it. And we'll cut it. There's our square. Titch bigger than the cube. So we'll stick it in here. There we go. Cover. So now you pick who you're going to bet on. Take your better, cover it up. Nobody knows. Till the end of the game, you lift it, and there's who you bet on. All right, I'm gonna put it back in this little bag. All right, let's see what's in here. It's a different texture than the, the quilt. It's kind of, I'm not sure what fabric it is. It's kind of different. It's not canvas. It's a nice, almost like a vinyl, I guess. But anyway, oh my goodness. They're mahjong chips. Look at that. So if you don't play for money, you can play for chips and assign a denomination to the chip. So it looks like there's yellow, white, green, red, and blue. So you may be a yellow chip is a dollar, white chip is 50 cents, blue chi or green chip would be maybe 25, blue would be, let's say, dimes, and then maybe the red would be nickels. I'll have to see how many are in here and see how the... Uh, allocation would be, but these are nice, nice and heavy. They're really nice. They're actually kind of heavy. I like the way they feel. That's pretty cool. They even sound like money. Cool. That's Unique. I don't think I've seen any quite like this, actually. I like them. So, Mahjong money. Oops. Oh, 
drop the exacto knife and put these in here. You could probably use this bag for the extra tiles too, if you want. All right, so we'll put these aside for a moment. Let's look at the racks. Ooh. These are the racks. Oh, nice. Nice quilting again. Velcro. Okay. Just got to make sure I remember how it's set up so I can put it back together. Wow, nice. Oh, there's a little instruction here. Just in case you forget. Wood racks. Wow, very nice. Instructions. They have pushers and how to put them back in the case. Okay, very nice. I'll stick that in here. Awesome. Okay, let's take a peek at one. Ooh, wow, these are really nice. Oh my goodness. These are really nice. Oh. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, so Linda Lee, there's a little magnet right there. Those are really nice. And it's got a little foot on it, so it slide around so much. Nice, and then a pusher that snaps right back on your rack. Ooh, kind of snaps right back in. Nice. Oh, let's see, did it, it kind of even sticks right there. Oh yeah. There's a magnet right there too. So it can sit right there while you're playing. You push out your rack and it comes right back while you're playing. That's pretty nice. All right, we'll do some close-ups in a little bit. I wanna look at these tiles. So we'll put this back in here. There we go. Perfect fit. Okay, and you go one right on top of the other and then back together. Well protected, because those are nice, nice wooden racks. I guess I don't need to put it all back in, because I'm going to show that to you in a close-up in a bit, but I guess just to keep it all tidy, we'll put it back in there. Let's look at these tiles. quilting again. Oh, and I love these tile trays too. But you don't have, this is kind of an option because we have these. So you can use either these 
like this in the trays, or you can use the cases instead of the trays. Up to you. You have an option. That's very nice. All right, so let's look at these tiles. Oh, nice. Well, you can't see because of that glare, really. Well, take that off. Take that off. Dots and cracks, some flowers. This is the I forget what it's called, Artisan Butterfly Series. Let me see on the packing list. Oh, it's not on there. It's the Artisan, oh, what's that word? All right, I'll clarify in, the, in a caption. Artisan something. I'm gonna look it up on my phone. Well, in the meantime, there's the BAMs, Winds, Jokers, and Dragons. Little panda, how cute is that? And look at those dragons. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, well, look at the one BAM. It's a swan. Very nice. All right, let's find out what it's called. Artisan Collection. That's the word I was looking for. Artisan Collection Butterfly Series. Okay. I'm going to be careful because these, these are nice too. They're little covers, but you have to be careful on these edges. They will split if you, if you mishandle them. So if, you're, if you want to use those covers and these trays, be careful with these lids. Okay, so, oh, that's why the flowers, the flowers are butterflies. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. There's a different butterfly for each one. So the seasons have the butterflies and then the flowers are flowers. Wow, these are really nice. There's a little frame around the winds. All right. Let's open them up and take a nice close look. First, I want to say thank you to Mel. Mel, thank you so much for thinking of me and sending this set. I love it. It's really pretty. And I like that there's unique designs with the flowers and the butterflies and even the dragons are kind of different. But the cracks look like the cracks in a regular set. And so do the dots and so do the bands. So there's familiar, familiarity, that's a hard word to say. The designs of the number tiles are very familiar. And then there's some unique designs with the flowers, with the butterflies and the dragons. There are actual dragons. And then of course we have the cute swan. 
I really like the design. Well done, Mel. And thanks again for thinking of me. Dee Gallo is an artisan. You can find her at redcoinmahjong with one G dot com. She's the designer of this mahjong set. If you'd like to know more about Dee, you can read about her at Redcoin Mahjong, but also Greg Swain wrote a lovely article about her on her blog at Mahjong Treasures. Look for links in the video description below. Let's open them up and see what they feel like. Oh, they are, they seem, they're a nice feel. And they're, they seem maybe a little bit bigger than a regular tile. I don't know, maybe not. Because this is a normal, is this a normal tray? I'm gonna go get another tile from a regular contemporary set and compare. I'll be right back. There's a tile from another Gammon Village set. Okay, we're gonna compare. Oh, it is a little bit, it is a little bit bigger. You can see it's just a teeny bit bigger. Teeny bit. Same, I guess, depth, but it's a teeny bit taller. Not much. Let's see here. Can you see that teeny tiny edge? Not too much bigger. Just a little but they're made of the same material, so they feel the same. Oh, nice. I think I'm gonna enjoy playing with these tiles. Let's take a closer look. If you want to buy your own Linda Lee Artisan Collection Butterfly Series Mahjong set, go to gammonvillage.com and search for Linda Lee Artisan Collection Butterfly Series. They have two options right now. One with the black poppy soft bag and the blue nautical soft bag. There's a set of Panda Bear Bamboo Mahjong Dice that match these tiles perfectly. 
If you'd like to buy a set, look for details in the video description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.